Just wanted you to see this for yourself. Genesis 2. God. God had created and made. There's a reason why they have created. Which means to be. Bring into existence. And made. Distinguished. Which is a transition between created and formed. As you can see here, made or formed in a particular place or by a particular process. All right. So they use the word created twice to confirm there's no coincidence. Made was used to transition into the word formed, where the Lord God formed man. Formed is a process. Formed as into shape and or configure shape or configure as in the mufflin and to the sheep all right formed again used twice to confirm there's not a coincidence so created used two and a half times formed used two and a half times the half is the made and you can see that made was also used twice So this is the nuances, the poetic nuances. And these things are confirmed three times again, all right? So it's telling you that male and female was created in Genesis 1.27. Created was used three times in that verse. In Genesis 1.27 says, so God, created man in his own image in the image of God he created him male and female he created them this is the beginning as Christ alluded to in Matthews 19 4 through 5 created 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 this is the first holy trinity so when you go to Genesis 5 the narrator quotes Genesis 1 27 almost exactly male and female conceived together in the day that God created man he made him in the likeness of God he created them male and female and blessed them and called them mankind in the day they were created and then when you go to Matthews 19, Christ said, have you not read that he who made them in the beginning made them male and female and said for this reason, a man shall leave his mother, his father and his mother and become one flesh, All right? So he's quoting Genesis 2, 2 4 therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and be joined to his wife and shall become one flesh mother has been cut out of that equation and there's an explanation for that that we can go into in another lesson so we talked about number one that male and female were created and conceived in genesis 1 27 adam was later formed okay by the lord okay Adam was the third character named in the Bible behind Havilah and Cush. All right. Now, Adam was shaped and configured. He was formed. OK, which is different than to be created, which is to be brought into an existence. And we also establish how the narrator or the Bible writer confirms a specific message three times such as the fact that Adam was a Nubian taken by an Assyrian by an Assyrian and made into a free labor force he was put in a plantation or partition a garden with trees and crops that were good for food and pleasant to the eyes once he got knowledge 
that made him unfit to be a slave. He then was sent back to till the land from which he was taken. So there's many of these subtle nuances. And if you're interested in more research like this, please send me an email at blackswanradio.com at gmail.com or just go to blackswanradio.com and become a subscriber. Thank you for listening to another blackswantv.org blackswanradio.com production by Rondell Jordan also known as the Black Swan.